Hello and welcome to this second uh, virtual jobs fair. Uh, these are a really important part of what we're doing as Black Country Healthcare Trust in supporting both service users and our partners in this really uh, challenging time to find solutions to careers and roles. And it's really great that you've been chosen to be part of this event. So thank you to training providers, thank you to employers, thank you to other providers who are working with us, thank you to those of you that have chosen to attend this fair. Uh, the last one was a great success, hence we put this one on and I hope if today's goes well, we'll continue to put more on in the future. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Stevie. I am a vocational specialist on the Thrive Into Work project. I help support people who live in Dudley, Stalbridge and Howes Owen get back into sustainable employment. Um, I'm here today to promote two job opportunities on behalf of SBF Consultancy who are based in Wolverhampton. The first role is for an office administrator. It's a full-time role on a contract basis. The salary is £18,000 per year. The role will include updating spreadsheets, documents, customer details, full admin duties including telephone admin, emails and bookkeeping, as well as managing social media content. So you must be computer literate for this role with an interest in social media. The second role is for a freelance web developer SEO specialist. It's a part-time role on a 12-month contract and the salary is 500 to 1,000 pound per calendar month. It's for a 70 hour per month role. So they're looking for an experienced website developer with expertise in SEO to work on both SPF Consultancy's website as well as their clients. You'll be working on brand new content and brand new websites as well as existing websites as well. This role is fully home-based, but you do have the opportunity to go into the office to work if you wish. To apply for either of these roles, please go onto the website for more details, and that is www.sbfconsultancy.com, where you'll find the application process on there as well. You can also phone them on 01902 212 725. Thanks a lot. I do really enjoy my time at Midland Heart. Uh, I love working in social housing. I love the job that I do because it impacts customers and how they live every single day. So one task can change someone's life completely, which to me makes me feel really proud. We are a people-focused organisation and the best thing about working here really is the people. So there's always someone to go to when you need them. There's someone to talk to. There's a really collegial atmosphere um, of support. Our people really drive my passion for Midland Heart. Every day they not only seek to deliver the best possible service to customers, but also see opportunities to develop their own careers and also support other colleagues to do the same. Every day is a different opportunity for everyone, but we all become a family and that's with a big smile on my face. At Midland Heart we have four inclusion networks. We have our race and ethnicity network, our LGBT plus network, our women's network and our disability network. They're all there to champion inclusion and promote it and celebrate the diversity we have. They support, they develop and they definitely give you fantastic training. We're an outcomes focused organisation that embraces the different ways a role can be fulfilled. This is important to us as it allows us to attract, develop and retain the very best talent. We want to be a place where we continue to be representative of the communities that we work in. We want to reduce our gender pay gap, but ultimately we want to be a brilliant place to work. The right person for us not only demonstrates our behaviours of being authentic, bold and collaborative, but also the skills or the potential to develop the skills needed to make a success of the role.
I love the people I work with. We have banter. We have our days where we just want to joke. So it is really good to work with them. And also the benefits. We've got um, perks. So we get discounts, which is a win-win, always a win-win. And then we've got support for mental health or any legal advice that we need. So all round, it's a win-win. Hi everybody, my name is Peter Baldock. I um, had a very bad bout of bipolar depression and had to leave London in uh, November 2016, roughly. Um, the depression went on for over two years. Um, I was put in contact with Step Up as a um, got a NHS service that helps people struggling with mental health back into the workplace. My first advisor is a fabulous Claire Savage and it took her years. Um, she knew when I was grey that I couldn't do job searches and needed a uh, Costa coffee and a little cake instead. And uh, then I got one job which wasn't great. Don't name the company because they were shocking. But despite that, I um, managed to get another job, which is brilliant. I now work in one of the best nursing homes in Birmingham. It has a petting zoo, which I think if I turn around, we might be able to see my friends. Hello, boys. Hello, boys. Oi, <laughs> what do you want? Yeah. Yeah, there's um, it's a really amazing place to work, um, and also my my management team. She knows about my mental health problems. She, uh, my my boss is extremely supportive. The nursing staff are also brilliantly supportive. Um, everyone uses the word a bit sparkly to describe when I'm too hypermanic and I need to rein my neck in a, a bit um, so I've got my colleagues using that expression um, the head nurse is on my side but this would never have happened when I couldn't see my own psychiatrist I could see Claire Savage and step up that's the biggest recommendation I can give it thank you hope you all enjoy watching this rather upbeat little video bye Hello, my name's Samantha Round and I work for Accord Housing Association. So I'll tell you a little bit about Accord and what we do. So we are one of the largest housing and social care organisations in the Midlands. We provide 13,000 affordable homes and health and social care to over 80,000 people across the Midlands with over 4,000 employees across the services that we provide. We are currently recruiting. We have a number of care vacancies and that ranges from experienced carers to non-experienced care staff as well. So if it is something that you're really passionate about, helping others and caring, we would love to hear from you. And if you have got experience, then equally we'd love to hear from you also. We also recruit for support workers, uh, senior care staff. We also recruit for our non-care services within construction, our head office office functions too so do have a range of different types of roles we are really diverse as an organization and that is definitely reflective in the type of roles that we're recruiting for you can follow the link to our website to see all of our current vacancies or you can give our recruitment team a call and discuss any of the vacancies that are live on our website if you don't see anything on there that is quite what you're looking for but you'd like to know a little bit more about working for us and any potential vacancies in the future then please don't hesitate to get in touch with the team we'd love to hear from you and we look forward to speaking with you soon
Hi guys, so I hope you're all okay. I just wanted to jump on and tell you a little bit about what I do at Body Shop at Home. So my name's Jo Willis, I'm a regional manager for the Body Shop at Home um, and I have been doing this since March last year. Since then I've climbed the career plan and I have managed to secure myself a full-time wage exceeding any wage I completely thought I would be able to earn. Um, we have fast track bonuses and we have great incentives in place for all of our consultants. Um, experience is not necessary, it's just we give you full training when you kind of jump on board. Now just to let you know, our products are ethically sourced, we've got community fair trade and we also are animal cruelty free. We also support lots of charities um, like Children on the Edge, um, supporting children that are close to the edge of survival, um, as well as obviously our products that we sell are all ethically sourced and fantastically made most are vegan and vegetarian and we have such an amazing brand behind us at the body shop at home obviously it's been running since the 70s um, and it is a party-based company however body shop at home consultants can run on social media and also based um, at home or at work or wherever you would like to work your business from it's fantastic so it is a really flexible business and it's a great way if you're already social media based it's fantastic. All we do is review the products and share them to, to others to um, hopefully they'll enjoy them too. So it's a fantastic career. Um, I wouldn't have thought this would be something that I would actually have ever joined. Um, I joined because I had lack of confidence, not because I needed a career. Um, I actually left a job as a director of a giftware business, so this is open for everybody. It's an amazing opportunity and I hope to have you on board. And obviously, if you've got any questions, please feel free to come and ask. We're incredibly proud of Dudley Borough. Here at Dudley Council, we work hard to support our local communities and we want to help create a future that's happy, healthy and safe for everyone. We think Dudley is unique and a special place. It's well connected and it's an affordable and an attractive place to live. It's also a great place to work with competitive salaries, flexible working and holidays topped with an excellent pension. We offer a wide range of roles from administration through to working with children or vulnerable adults. You can work in finance or legal, health and well-being support, commercial and customer roles, in housing or even with our regeneration team. There are also roles in building services, waste, transport, environmental or green care or in our borough museums and exciting visitor attractions. We have permanent temporary or casual jobs and are proud of our Apprenticeship Academy where people develop professional skills with a recognised qualification at the end. Apprenticeships are no longer just for school leavers but are a great way to kickstart a changing career or work towards a new role. We also think work experience is valuable too in giving you a taster of how the council works. We recognise that it's essential to have a diverse workforce and we are proud to have been awarded Disability Confident and Mindful Employer status. So what does that mean? It means that we welcome employees with disabilities and mental health issues and will offer them the same employment, retention and training opportunities. Now, while I've been talking, you've been seeing our council staff on screen, busy at work in a variety of roles. Some of these people may have a disability but it's not always obvious. Here at Dudley, we see everyone as equals. Dudley Council is a great place to work. We work very much as a team. And if you want to find out more about being part of our team and some of the exciting opportunities we have on offer, go to our website and simply click on jobs. <laughs>
Hi there, I'm Katie Morris Taylor and I've been part of Thriving to Work since August 2019 and I've not long been discharged. Like myself, I'm not 100% fit to work, but they, they didn't care. They helped me get back into work and they helped the work, the employer, put the appropriate amendments in place to sort of best support me. And we had a little bit of trouble this year and th with their help we resolved that and I'm still there now. They've best supported me because they've helped rebuild me. Because th last year I was, I was a shell, I was full of anxiety and I'd got no confidence. But my support worker helped me rebuild myself. He helped give me all the confidence that I needed to fulfil, to get through the interview uh, and to get through the start of me, uh, the start of the job. We used to meet every few weeks. He used to send me new adverts for postings when we decided what was suitable uh, job role for me. And then we used to go through interview techniques where he was he used positive criticism, so you don't need this, and I would leave that out, etc. There are so many people out there, like myself, that would benefit from this programme. Thank you. Hello, my name's Jade, and I'm the founder of Fair Point Recruitment, a recruitment agency which specialises in finding ex-offenders employment. We are based in the West Midlands and offer short-term and long-term positions in a range of sectors. We currently have vacancies in the following sectors. Hospitality, cleaning and maintenance, warehouse operative, security and engineering and plumbing. So if you're struggling to find work due to having a past criminal conviction or criminal background, please get in touch with us today. One of the ways you can do this is to email our team at First point recruitment at jobforyou.com or you can register your interest at www.firstpoint-recruitment.co.uk and one of our team will be in touch with you to tell you more information and how you can apply for the upcoming vacancies. Thank you. Hello, my name's Selena. I work for the employment teams in Sandwell. I'm reading today a vacancy that AM to PM, who's a recruitment company, they're based in Dudley and they're working with a number of established local companies who are looking to recruit to a number of positions. These roles are as follows. The first vacancy is in Tipton. AM to PM are seeking food production operatives to work in the Tipton area. Full training will be given to the right candidates with the possibility of the job becoming permanent. Various shifts are available. They have a 6am to 4pm, a 1pm to 10pm positions. What does the job involve? The job involves the production of sauces and spices. There will be heavy lifting required and working to a strict health and hygiene guidelines. Good food hygiene is key. Good communication skills. The pay rate is £8.72 per hour. I will give you further details of how you can apply for this vacancy at the end of the video. The second vacancy is for a company that have a very busy warehouse which is based in Wombourne. The warehouse stock includes electrical items, garden products and pet food. The roles that they have available include unloading containers, repackaging, pallets, shrink wrapping, labelling and PPT. Previous wear house experience would be really beneficial to applying for this role. The hours of work is 7am to 2.45pm and they also have another shift which is 3.15pm to 11pm. You must be available to work both shifts. You must also be available to start work at short notice. The rate of pay for this vacancy is £8.72 per hour 
to £10.03 per hour, depending on which shift that you work. You do receive benefits after working for them for 12 weeks, which also includes a pension scheme and five days extra holiday pay per year. So for the one born vacancy, please email amy, A-M-Y, at am to pm dot uk dot com. For the Tipton vacancy, please email marta, M-A-R-T-A dot P-A-W L-A-K at am to pm dot uk dot com. Alternatively, you can call Amy or Marta 01384 686 090. Thank you. Good luck for applying for these roles. So that's two roles, Tipton and Wombourne. Please do contact the agency and I wish you well with your application. Hello, I'm Corporal Morris Jones and I'm a Recruitment Coordinator for the British Army's Recruitment Group. The military understands that we're all faced with both challenging and unprecedented times, but being the adaptable organisation that we are, we refuse to be discouraged from recruiting the future generation of soldiers. If you consider yourself to be both a motivated and ambitious individual that welcomes the idea of earning a respectable salary, gaining nationally recognised qualifications and travelling the world, the British Army might just be for you. The application process is extremely straightforward and demands no commitment of service from you, the candidate, up until the point you start basic training. So if at any point throughout your application you decide the military no longer appeals to you, you can request to be immediately withdrawn. At this point, most Army Careers Centres are offering face-to-face -face nurture sessions, giving candidates a chance to meet a serving soldier and discuss where they would fit into the British Army. We're also very conscious of the fact that many people may still feel uncomfortable with engaging in face-to-face -face interaction with unfamiliar faces. Therefore, we have established both virtual events and can retrieve documentation by either post or email. We will at some point need to see you, but not until the very later stages of your army application. So, if a career in the military appeals to you as either a regular soldier, officer or a reserve soldier, please contact your local career centre or visit the Army website and submit an application. We look forward to hearing from you. Hello, my name's Kate Morgan and I'm the Registered Manager of Camp Hill Village Trust Shared Lives Scheme. Shared Lives is sometimes described as a little bit like foster care for adults. However, it's so much more than that. Because in Shared Lives, we support people to build on key skills, independence, make their own choices and decisions and live at the heart of the community, just like you and I. Shared Lives provides support to adults over the age of 18. However, we can start supporting people from 16 upwards who may have a learning disability, physical disability, mental ill health, or it may be an older person with the early onset of dementia. You can provide long term, short break or day support arrangements and you must use your home as a base. You do not need any skills or experience, but you do need to be over the age of 21, have the right values and commitment and of course a spare bedroom. We will provide you with an induction, a comprehensive induction programme as well as ongoing support and monitoring. If you would like to find out about more about becoming a Shared Lives Carer, please contact us or look on our website at www.campillvilletrust.org.uk or call us 01384 441505. Hopefully we'll hear from you soon. Thank you. Bye bye. Hello, my name's Doreen Till. I'm the Employment Retention Team Manager. Um, we cover areas of uh, Dudley and Walsall at the moment in terms of employment retention. And what it entails is trying to help people with mental health difficulties remain in their jobs. So this may uh, have entailed somebody being uh, off sick from work or it may be that somebody 
um, is struggling at work due to their mental health and what we can do is we can help work with the employee and the employer in various ways which my colleague Susie Wint will, will explain for you now. So some of the ways we work with employers are to work with the care coordinators, the psychiatrists and CPNs individuals may have within secondary care to gain their advice and knowledge on medication and the effects so we can best advise the employer. Um, some of the reasonable adjustments we put in place are liaising with the occupational health departments, liaising with the managers, we can put wellness at work action plans together just so everyone is really clear on the type and, and of, of mental health issues that individual may be challenged with and also how to make their work life better and it just means more productivity for both the employer and the employee and both are fully aware and, and understand you know what steps need to be taken at what points. Um, we facilitate return to work action plans so if an individual has been off work for some time and nervous about returning as many are with the COVID situation we will work with the individual and the employer to try and ease anxieties and look at some coping strategies that can be employed in the workplace again as part of reasonable adjustments we also work closely with ACAS who will advise and if matters do need to be taken further and we do think there is perhaps grounds for discrimination at some point we will work with ACAS and that matter will be taken further we also work with trade unions and various other parties just to support the individual. Hi, I'm Paul, one of the vocational specialists at Black Country Healthcare. Um, I'm here to tell you about some positions available at a company called Kenbrook Clothing Manufacturers and they are based in West Bromwich. Um, so what they're looking for full time um, sewing machinists to work either a day or a night shift. Um, they um, need sewing machines for PPE for the NHS and they also supply for their own clothing line too. Um, they're asking that applicants have experience in using either a flatbed or industrial overlocker machine and to start with you'll be placed on a three week trial where they will try you on the different types of machines that they have um, find out what's best for you and then help you to improve your accuracy accuracy um, so that um, you can meet the targets that they set um, it's a family business and they have a number of positions available if you are interested then please speak to either your vocational specialists or you can send an email direct to Kenbrook. Let me just get that for you. That will be at kenbrookhr at gmail.com. Good luck. My name is Jacqueline. I joined VR two months ago. During this time, I've been supported by two vocational specialists who have supported me with various things. The pandemic has been difficult, but I have been in weekly contact with my project officer. We have been busy trying to academic from Pearson. One certificate has come and we are chasing the rest. The best thing that has happened is that I've managed to get a job as a mental health care assistant. Birmingham and Sally Hall Mental Health Foundation, NHS Trust. I'm really excited about this and it's great that I can get back to work again. BBO have also arranged some coffee mornings because we haven't been able to meet face to face because of COVID-19. I've attended some of these which have been about many things, from managing mental health to healthy eating. I would recommend the service to anyone wanting employment support, job search help, mental health help, and support with training. Thank you for everything. Bye.
The Recovery College is a graduation at the end of each academic term. It's where we come together and celebrate our students' successes and achievements for um, attending all of their courses. Everybody gets a certificate. Um, we also celebrate our students' achievements for actually overcoming many barriers to actually get here, walk through the door on their first time, overcome all their anxieties to actually attend the courses. Hello, my name is Sophie Rogers and I am a business owner of my brand called High Vibe Alignment. So I've worked for myself for five years now and before that I was a designer at a well-known high street clothing company and I unfortunately had to leave my job due to health conditions. So um, when I was off work and unemployed, I felt really lost and I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life and what direction I wanted to go down. And I fortunately found uh, yoga, meditation and crystals and mindfulness and these things really resonated with me and I knew that was the path that I then wanted to go down. So um, I then went to the Prince's Trust and then they helped me with a business loan and they helped me with um, a business mentor as well. So then I set up my business plan and so I received some financial help and a business mentor from the Prince's Trust and I now have my business and I have a crystal shop where I make jewellery and I sell different crystals from all over the world. I'm also a yoga teacher and teach meditation and mindfulness and yoga and this is the path that I'm really pleased that I'm going down because it works really great with my own mental health and my physical health too. So I've been running my business for five years now and eventually I will be looking for an apprentice to help out with my orders and to help my shop as it expands too. I hope you find your passion in life and find out exactly what it is that you want to do. Just do what you love. Best of luck. Hello, I'm Ross Jones and I'm a vocational specialist for the Black Country NHS Partnership Trust. If you are interested in care work, then Five Care Services are recruiting now in Walsall, South Staffordshire, Wolverhampton and Birmingham North. If you want to apply, please contact the recruitment team on our 1922 626 064 or via email recruitment at fivecareservices.co.uk. Thank you for your time today and the very best of luck. Here is some feedback from a self-employed makeup artist. She studied makeup artistry six or seven years ago as she was in a job she didn't like and couldn't see a future in, so she decided to study for the career she wanted. She went part-time and started college to study makeup artistry, eventually continuing those studies at university. She took extra courses in things such as lash lifting and brow waxing and tinted and completed both level two and three in beauty. She worked two part-time jobs, one in a beauty salon and one as a retail artist on a makeup counter. She was working seven days per week, sometimes up to 14 hours a day. Eventually, however, after gaining the experience she needed, she left both of these part-time jobs and is now completely self-employed. She says she earns less than she has previously, but has more job satisfaction, which is something she says you cannot put a price on. She also has the luxury to work from home, choose her own hours and spend time with her friends and family when her work is not overly busy. 
She has continued taking further studies as trends in the beauty industry, she says, are changing at a very fast pace and it is important to be at the top of her game. I'm Zoe and I'm here to represent a company called Crest Couriers who are currently recruiting for delivery drivers across the Midlands. Our vocational specialist spoke to them and here's what they had to say. There's more to being a Crest driver than simply sitting behind the wheel. As one of our delivery drivers, you'll be the face of our business for the dozens of diverse Crest Couriers customers you'll meet each day. You'll work on a shift pattern that covers both mornings, which could start as early as 8am, and evening shifts, which could finish as late as 10pm. While experience is a bonus for our delivery drivers, we're more interested in your enthusiasm, friendly personality and willingness to go the extra mile for our customers. To work as a delivery driver at Crest Couriers, we ask that you have the correct right to work in the UK and that you're able to provide these documents at interview. You must be confident behind the wheel of our manual Peugeot partner vans, not have any points on your driving licence, nor have been disqualified from driving within the last 10 years. Please be aware Crest Couriers will carry out a DBS criminal records check and a driving licence check to any appointed candidates. If you're interested, please contact your vocational specialist or visit their website at www.crestcareers.co.uk. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Luke from Event Cover Education and we do training within the security industry. So if you want to work in the security industry at the moment, there's lots of various opportunities that have come up. Uh, COVID has obviously changed the way the security industry looks. So the events side of the industry uh, is really struggling at the moment. The events can't function, stadiums can't have fans. And so that side of the industry really is struggling. However, the other side of the security industry is really busy. There's lots of opportunities uh, in office blocks, on static sites, on the COVID test centres. Uh, all the pubs and clubs are now reopening again. And we're now seeing that there's lots of opportunities within, within the security industry on that side of things, if that's something you want to go into. As part of our training course, you'll do three different qualifications. The first one is a stewarding qualification. This allows you to work at any stadiums, events, uh, big events such as the Commonwealth Games and the Olympics. That stewarding qualification allows you to work at these venues as an event steward. The second qualification we do is a safeguarding and anti-terrorism qualification. Very, very relevant to this industry and you'll learn some really interesting topics. You'll watch some really good videos and have some really kind of in-depth conversations about safeguarding, online safety and anti-terrorism. Then the third qualification we do with you is the SIA door supervisor qualification. This is the one that gives you your SIA license and allows you to work in a security role. This part of the training has to be done in the classroom because there's conflict management modules and a physical intervention module. If you wanted to go into the security, you need to have the correct ID. So you need as a minimum, you need a passport, a driving license or an original birth certificate uh, because there are exams if you wanted to do, uh, get your SA license. If you want any more information, you can take my details. You can email me at luke.mason at eventcover.co.uk or you can call or message me on 07917236680. We start a new group every week, so if you contact me, I can get you on a course uh, really quickly. Cheers. Help in Hand Home Care have offices based in Wolverhampton, Warsaw and Stourbridge and we are currently recruiting care assistants across all three locations. The role of a care assistant involves going out into the community to support customers and promote independence. We are looking for care assistants and applicants to apply who may have been experienced care assistants in the past maybe have no experience at all, or maybe have a little personal experience whereby you have looked after a family member or friend, or maybe you just want the opportunity to make the difference to someone's life. The role of the care assistant involves being a big part of the customer's everyday life. You will be providing personal care, administering medication, 
providing manual handling, promoting customer health and well-being, and enabling them to live life to the full. You'll be required to work flexible shifts and become a large part of their daily lives. So, if you're interested in applying, please submit your applications online or for further information, please email us. Well, that's the end of our jobs fair. We hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for coming along. If you've seen some vacancies that you're going to apply for, good luck. <laughs>